Like this is the chocolate factory. We're gonna have a tour. Fifty percent it is cacao. The question is, what is the other fifty percent? Hello. For lunch, we're serving our famous chicken at Ish Cacao, chocolate chicken. They thought we were some sort of magicians. So everyone associated with this technology should be burned to death. I'm Zaya, I come from Mongolia and we have been sailing across the Atlantic Ocean and around the Caribbean for the last five years. And I'm Stuart and I'm passionate about sailing and teaching sailing. And just recently our cruise expanded with the arrival of this little guy, Leo. break from the sea this week and going on a surprising journey into the origins of chocolate. We're with the descendants of the original chocolate masters in the place where it all started thousands of years ago. This is the chocolate factory. We're gonna have a tour. Eat a lot of chocolates probably. Juan Chaw along with my wife Abelina aka the chocolate queen herself when you say chocolate what is the first thing that comes to your minds cacao cacao okay How about you brown brown okay you're thinking of dark chocolate you're thinking about dark chocolate okay, when you're talking about chocolate often the things that come to your minds is like the good things dark uh, rich sweet however for us when we say chocolate the first thing that comes to our mind is a tree. And this is a tree. This one is referred to as a coliflorous flowering plant. They produce their flowers directly from the main stems. And they're pollinated by tiny little insects referred to as midges, sunflies, or no CMs. Of course, from the flower to harvesting will take us nine zero days or three months. <laughs> History proves to us that 1502, that is when early Europeans came across our land. We would have said, welcome, have some chocolate. But then taking it back to Europe and Spain, of course, for the king of Spain, they had to be importing Maya Kekchi kings to Spain to demonstrate to the king on how it was supposed to be processed to consumption. Here, you had people falling in love with cacao. And with more people falling in love with cacao meant more money. More money, more cacao. More cacao led towards hybridizing of the cacao plant. Why would I want to hybridize the cacao? First of all, people were walking out of worshiping sites, sneaking into chocolate shops, getting their chocolate fixes. We need to know what is this chocolate all about. We say the darker your chocolate is, healthier for you. More cacao it is, good for you. How many of you have seen this fruit crack open before? You had. Okay, you have too. Well, get out of this room. <laughs> Some people think that in here is like a big block of chocolate. You know? As for the Belgians, you, you'd like to think that all Belgians know about chocolate. Of course, they know about chocolate and they're like, we make the best chocolate, you know? But it's from that point on, upward. As opposed to from here, in reality. So let's go ahead and crack it open. These unlikely looking seeds are removed from the pods by hand, then sweated, fermented and roasted to produce the dark beans. But do they taste like chocolate yet? And first things first, smell it. You smell the beans and then gently squish the bean. There's a thin layer around that bean. And if you're able to remove 
the shell see one part mm -hmm. shell mm -hmm. shells will go into this bowl mm -hmm. and here I'm gonna go ahead and crumble this bean Ooh. if I crumble the bean now I'm getting what is referred to as cacao nibs or cocoa nibs okay. which is sold at Whole Foods stores in North America today as superfoods here let's go ahead and sample a superfood and see what it tastes like the first one that you shell mm. Wow. <laughs> That's the nibs really are not good. making it back. We need the nibs, guys. <laughs> they are really good. Yeah, when but you, we when need them. The nibs are fantastic. They're not really chocolatey, they're more fruity. I don't, I'm curious to know what happens next to take that, that flavor to chocolate, because it was still not at chocolate yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, 3,000 years ago, as I said, you didn't have a machine, you did not have electricity. That tool, the fruit of another tree called calabash. This is a giant fruit cut in half. Here, we're gonna go ahead and throw the grains up into the air and see what happens. Can you folks see what's happening? Yeah. What is happening? The flakes are falling off. Apparently, we didn't do a good job. Pretty good job. <laughs> 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 okay. So, this is winnowing. It's referred to as winnowing, it's separating the wheat from the chaff. Okay? <clears throat> Look at them. Now, the next step is to utilize your two sets of cameras over here. We're going to scan our beans to see if there's no beans that are unshelled. And I'm scanning the beans. Oh, look. Quite interesting, isn't it? Yep. Very, very interesting. <laughs> At the time, you don't have steel, you didn't have plastics, no styrofoams. You had stone. And that, here you're looking at, is a stone tool of a basalt stone coming from volcanic rocks. So let's go ahead and put these beans on the stone. And then, it's getting ready to operate. You hold on to your stone with your fingers on the side of your stone just like this and not like this. <laughs> the sides, 45 crush and move forward like that. Backwards, 45 crush and repeat the process back and forth. Fingers will turn into a liquid paste. First of all, 1562, prior to early Catholic religion, when they came across our land, they did not take time out to understand what we're saying or doing, but rather are quick enough to make assumptions. One of their immediate assumptions was, they thought we were some sort of supernatural beings. They thought we were some sort of magicians, whereby taking these dry granulars, with just two pieces of stones without adding water, here you're turning it into a liquid paste. 1562, Diego de Landas, the Catholic priest, called us a magician. And if it was magic, then magic was considered to be the work of the devil. devil. So everyone associated with this technology should be burned to death. Well, let's go back 1562 and see whether or not whatever we're doing is magic or scientific. Put your hands together like this. Okay? I'm going to start by rubbing your hands slowly and then let's accelerate a little bit more or oh, let's go faster what do we experience heat is caused by friction friction without these grains between these stones i can ignite a fire each cacao beans contains a total of 50 percent naturally by weight is in the forms of cacao butter Cacao butter is the only product that melts at body temperature. You folks ready to make some magic? Mm -hmm. Would you like to have a go on stone? Yeah. Chop chop. It's looking beautiful, look at that. It is. It's quite nice uh, tactile. It's a nice feeling, isn't it? It is. Well, that, that's a part of the process I never understood. So, magician. Yes. I gotta get this. Get yourself some fresh. Put it on the website. That's it. You have wood. In this case, the wood certainly will serve the purpose 
of reorganizing your product. Over here, consider yourself in gear number one, speedometer ranging, one to one motions per second, and that's what you harvested. What if we change gear? I'm going to gear number two. two. Let's see what happens. Turning those dry granulars into a liquid paste. Yeah, you gotta shine on it now. Now I want my chocolate to be silky smooth. How do I get it silky smooth? I guess that's gear number? Five. <laughs> and right now we're going to gear number three. And let's see what happens. One. Two. And mm -hmm. wow, look how beautiful yeah, so it is. That's just, yeah, such as I, silky smooth. Go for it. 100% pure. Try 100% Which, um, right there, you can see straight up. There is a hybrid variety. So if I was going to be... Oh! <laughs> you oh, oh. tasted 100%. Oh, yeah. Today you're saying the darker your chocolate is, healthier for you. More cacao in your chocolate bar is good for you. We're talking about 100%. So here, if that's the case, then let's look at the fractures. Here, we cut in half. This is Mr. Godiva's chocolate wrapper, and it's telling us 50% sure. cacao. The question is, what is the mm. other 50%? Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, right? Becomes none of our business. <laughs> sure. They gave us an ingredient section placed in the far left corner, printed mm. in very fine prints, yes. sealed right on top of it, becomes all smushy. All of which, likewise, under the corporate level. As long as you're mm. unconscious, mm. it's super. Mm. But when we become conscious, mm -hmm. it's a problem. Because we want to know what's the other 50%. Mm -hmm. yep. In this case, let's continue. Per hundred, there are four quarters. Each quarter is represented by a figure of 25%. One, two, three, four, times 25, giving back 100. This is Mr. Hershey's. Mm. For Halloween, they're giving us what? 20% cacao. What is 20% of this bar? This is 25. 20 is below the 25, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So really nothing left. 20% in cacao. Here I have 80% in question. We're talking about corn syrup. High fructose mm. corn syrup. So I let it in bleach white sugars, milk, solids. And for the machine to turn, because after adding all these dry complements, it does not look like that anymore. It looks dry and lumpy. In this case, comes in hydrogenated palm oils. Mm -hmm. When hydrogenated palm oils is pumped in, of course, the machine turns, revealing a weird looking color. According to European standards, tells us above 80% cacao in your chocolate is considered a healthy chocolate. So, here, you're introduced to this beverage which you had no idea what it was, we would have said Sahil Chole. Sahil Chole. It's quite the interest of thinking about chocolate. There is no milk and there is no sugar. Just pour front of him for me. Sour? Kind of like a little sour yeah. to it. Okay, anything else? <laughs> Just imagine mm. it's like yeah. 1502. Yeah. I mean, it, prior to early Europeans, likewise it is, you had no idea what was being introduced to you. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and put that straight inside my chocolate. Stir it up. 
what is happening is it's causing a chemical reaction causing the flavonoid compounds to become neutralized. It's kind of like overriding the flavonoid compound, making the flavonoid compound become subtle. When it becomes subtle, you'll learn that it appears to be somewhat no longer bitter anymore. And because it's just a pinch of pepper, you won't be able to experience the heat. So instead you're getting something more of a neutralized chocolate instead. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and First things first, smell. I can already sense something new just being developed. Now, I'm now tempted to taste in this case. Wow, that's it right there. That's how we like our chocolate. As according to early European states, Maya people were consuming their chocolate with spices instead. So your first ingredient of the day would have been pepper. Now you're not required to, but if you wish to be adventurous, then pepper was the first ingredient. We'll be coaching you, of course. Okay, hold on, stop right there. Mm -hmm. That's good. And I would need to top you up a little bit. Allow me to. There you go. Either be in bars, either be in various foods, that contains pepper. So it's just, it's taken out all the um, it's taken out all the bitterness. Exactly, which is quite crazy mm -hmm. to think about what Maya people were doing 3,000 years ago, and that's when we question who are these people. A dark chocolate for us is 90% cacao, and let's move on to the next one coming up. Coffee, which is 78% cacao, 2% coffee, 20% sugar, branded coffee. <laughs> yeah, I like the coffee and the nibs. The nibs were really good. Mm -hmm. Getting really into tasting mood. Nice. Coconut wow. chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. So, we're gonna move on to the rest. Sea salt, spicy, ginger, orange, nutmeg, mace, cinnamon, and cardamom, which are all 78% cacao and 2% respective of the ingredient. Of course, 20% sugar. Okay, cheers, top mm -hmm. toy, or oh, salute. Bottoms up. Chocolate rum, down the hatch. I'm driving, I'm not supposed to be drinking. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh. It's chocolate, so it's good. That's good. <laughs> that's, um, that's got a nice kick to it. Yep, it's really good. Wow. Well, I just have to get the last bit. <laughs> Very nice. Which, of course, we're very grateful of that. And right now, we're gonna see the chocolate queen in her palace. Hello! So. Lunch is ready. For lunch, we're serving coconut milk moringa rice, mm -hmm. chocolate chicken, our fam famous chicken at Ish Cacao. The sauce has chocolate. There's coconut milk base. Um, this is beans, kidney beans. This one is turmeric, coconut milk, and vegetable. Um, bok choy, greens. Um, Jipi japa, which is a Maya noodles, we would say. It's like a vegetarian meal. It's a heart of palm. Kalalu, which is a Belizean spinach. Plantain, fried plantain. Hot sauce, be careful with our onion hot sauce. Mm -hmm. In the hot sauce, there is onion, habanero, cilantro, and vinegar. It's self-serve. Enjoy your lunches. Thank if you're you. vegetarian, you can just go ahead and skip this one. Well, that was a really interesting tour. I found the part about grinding the cocoa beans into the paste and having it liquefy, that was really surprising. And it was at that moment that the chocolate 
smell, aroma really filled the room. I would recommend this place for sure. It's a really good tour and the guy Juan is a real authority. He knows his chocolate right down to the you know the genetic and the biochemical level. Amazing. I'm impressed with the with the place. Definitely recommend it. What a hard working people with amazing little factory going on. I was just so impressed with how they work so well collectively in terms of having this whole farm populate all these amazing fruits and cocoa beans and they have such a good process and they're all part of it and that was really beautiful to see and as Juan said it's supposed to be agriculture not just agriculture thanks Juan bye 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 Please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel and leave any other comments below that you'd like to add. Until next time, thank you for watching.